Okay, folks, W2RTV here. We got another video for you today. Uh, this is WX to IMG weather satellite photography using your USB stick and SBR sharp. This is what your signal should look somewhat like in SDR sharp. Uh, unfortunately, there's no audio because I'm using virtual audio cables and I'm pumping it from SDR sharp over here to WX to IMG. If you notice the picture starting to build on the screen, uh, we're using Ham Radio Deluxe to track the bird and for frequency correction. I am correcting the frequency manually with the mouse. Try to keep the center peak on the red line. Here we're using a old all azimuth rotor system and that's all being done tracked by hand nothing's computerized as of yet uh, as you see the picture starting to build more on the screen as this is going on here I have to do frequency correction with the mouse right now it's still pretty far away so the Doppler shift isn't that uh, prominent but as it gets over the house, it'll shift very quickly. We're going to make some adjustments now to our elevation rotor. Bring it up to about 15 degrees. According to HRD, the bird is at 10.8. Azimuth is 180. So we got the beam all the way to the south. We're getting a picture, but if you notice, it's grainy because it's noisy. You don't have a good signal on it yet. I'm not running a preamp here. I'm just using the RTL SDR stick. My ham it up converter in the bypass position. Uh, going to my 2 meter 13 element beam, which is horizontal on the roof. Still have our picture coming in here. Our signal is starting to get a little bit stronger here in SDR Sharp. You got to remember this is 36 kilohertz wide, 36 kilohertz wide. You might be able to get away with 32 or 34. I haven't tried it, but so far 36 seems to be doing a job. As you notice, the bird is starting to gain some altitude, so it's coming in a little bit clearer. We're going to raise the beam up to 20 degrees. Still have 12 more minutes to go on this pass. I'm going to come back over here to the SDR sharp screen. If you notice the red line is just a hair off center. We're going to reduce our frequency by 100 hertz steps at a time. We're going to have to do it again. There we go. If you notice, it's starting to get closer now, so the Doppler shift is getting to be more pronounced. So there's a lot going on here. You got to keep an eye on, make sure your picture's coming in, your timing is right. Keep an eye on the bird and your beams. Where are they pointed? Where are they going? Uh, we're still roughly at 180 here. So the bird is basically going to come. Oh, about 68 degrees, which is just about over the house. Now we're going to raise our elevation rotor again up to about 30. You notice the picture is getting clearer and clearer the higher it gets. Again, no preamp. We're working on that. SDR sharp, if you notice now, the more peaks are more prevalent. You notice it's wider in a waterfall. This is a great program for free. Uh, WX to IMG is also free, but I registered to get more options, and it's worth the money. And the picture's still coming in here. Ten minutes left, just about. We're going to see if we could rest the camera on something here. So 
my arm's about ready to fall off. Doing frequency correction while I'm talking the whole time here. Real nice signal in the waterfall today. Birds at about 45 degrees right now. Just move the beams up and notice how it's stronger yet. And the waterfalls really starting to look good, even the IF spectrum. And if you notice, we're off center, so we have to another 100 hertz, 200 hertz, 300 hertz. I found it to be just about dead on with Ham Radio Deluxe. Uh, if you update the Keplers and update the time on your computer, um, things go real well. Uh, but everything is time synced, of course. All right, now the bird is starting to come up higher. So we're turning the beams, we're doing some frequency correction here, I'm trying to keep it on the picture, beams going up higher, now we're at 60 degrees, notice how clear the picture is, some more frequency correction. Okay, now we're going to start to bring the beam horizontally, uh, azimuth-wise, uh, because it is starting to go bias at this point. It's very strong today, which is good. Any interference is usually left out of the equation. Built a decent picture at the moment. The bird is just about over the house and it's going to make a real wicked frequency correction here as it's going over top. Right now my beam is at 70. We're at 70. We're not quite straight up in the air. We're at about 270 on the uh, horizontal uh, azimuth side. And now we got to turn it hard because it's moving quick. Still got a beautiful clear picture coming in here. I'm going to do a little bit more. See now everything's nice and predominant. Peaks are beautiful. Your goal is to get this type of signal from horizon to horizon. And a QFH antenna will do that uh, with no problem. start to lower the beam now. You see we still got a pretty pretty good picture coming in here. Gonna do some frequency correction over here. If you notice we're off the red line. We're gonna go 100 Hertz at a time till we're back in the center. And there we go. Sorry for the shakiness. Still coming in real nice on the waterfall. Got some interference to the right. And the IF spectrum is looking great. We're going to drop it another two. I try to keep this red line just to the left of the center and in the middle on this one here, which gives the best results. Uh, here we are. We still have a picture coming in. If you notice, uh, we're right at uh, uh, dawn here. Uh, to the right it's already dark, to the left it's uh, still daylight and once this gets to a certain point it's going to shift over into nighttime mode. Do some more frequency correction here. This is where we're at. Got five minutes left. Lower the beam some more. We're down to 32. Still got a beautiful picture coming in. And it's going to start getting noisy in a minute because I'm blocked to the north. And I'll stop it and process the picture. And we'll see how it looks. 
still coming in pretty good here. You see the peaks are getting a little lower. Waterfalls getting a little bit dimmer. I'm go down a couple hundred hertz again. Get it in the center. Back in the center. Picture still coming in okay, but there is some. Uh, if you notice up in here, well, you probably might not be able to see it on this, but we're starting to get some grainy effect. Uh, that's the signal uh, starting to fade. Uh, right now the bird is just about to Hudson Bay. I'm in New York. Uh, bird's a little over a thousand miles away. The altitude is 538 miles above the earth. And we're starting to get grainy so I'm going to manually stop this. And it'll now I'm gonna click auto process. And let's see what we get. It does take a while. There's a lot of graphics involved. This is a six core computer with 32 gig of RAM and two gig on a video card. It's looking pretty good here. Looks like we're going to get a decent picture. I don't know if we'll get any color. Yep, there we go. We finally got some color. And it's finished processing. Actually came out really nice. Uh, I'm going to bring up one of the stills here. Uh, let's go with this one here. And here we are. Um, this is the system that, uh, if you notice, um, you have the United States, which starts about in here. If you could follow my mouse. Uh, you got the Great Lakes up in here, so we got quite a bit of nasty weather out there. I'm going to go to the black and white image, uh, see how that does. Again, you can see the coast of North America here. Um, and that's it. Uh, USB stick, 13 bucks from China. If you're willing to wait a couple weeks for it, if not, you can find them on eBay, 25, 30 bucks, but uh, for that price you could get two. I ordered six, and I use them for all different things here. So, uh, again, W2RTV Radio, hope you enjoyed this video.